Hey, fellow investors. In this video, I want to discuss my research platform, the strategy, portfolios, goals, and of course, performance. So for those who don't know it, I have a research platform where I share all the research that I do, portfolios, buys, I send an email whenever I buy something, and strategies around the covered stocks and positions. There is six and a half years of research there so don't get overwhelmed by it everything is summarized in this top thread research platform 2.0 where you have the 20 something covered stocks where you have all the last emails that you can easily follow up what has been done and you have the current situation the strong buys the nine good buys the diversified research platform portfolio will discuss portfolio by portfolio later. My personal portfolio, model portfolio with monthly additions where we buy every month something with the model portfolio and also my personal portfolio. So there is companies that we follow update on earnings and it is always a good time to join C check 21 day money back guarantee so feel free to check whatever we do how it works and see whether this is something that can create value for you over time now let's start by discussing the strategy around it as we discussed a few days ago also on youtube i added nutrien and mosaic to my diversified portfolio at the mid portfolio position so if the cycle food cycle, fertilizer cycle deteriorates, I can buy that again and then ride the upside when the cycle turns up again. Also, I keep this in the diversified because they already return on the average 10% now from that average cycle. I manage that position in a 20 position diversified portfolio. So it is a process over time. If it gets cheaper, then it gets also considered for the model portfolio, which is more concentrated and also for my personal portfolio. But everything when it comes to strategy is focused on value investing. And the focus of value investing is first low risk, because low risk leads to high reward. The returns, the driver of our portfolio returns, as you'll see later, is not stocks going up or down, is the businesses delivering value over time, earnings, buybacks, growth. That is what I focus on and buy it at the low risk price and then let the businesses deliver the returns. And we can do that because the market is irrational that offers us opportunities. The goal is to build a portfolio that compounds over time, reinvesting the dividends. And as that pile of value grows, there is more and more added to the power of compounding. Now let's immediately check the two portfolios that are for the research platform. There is also my personal but that's just me showing what I do without a research platform strategy related. The model portfolio was launched in 2018 and we have due to high request a diversified portfolio but also to do something like this I needed the six and a half six years of research to have value to put into a diversified portfolio that is now at 15 positions. Talking about the model portfolio, we started in 2018 with 5,000, adding 250 per month. We are now at 37,500, about six position global value investing and the goal is always compounding. The key question as always, performance. If I calculate through the compounded performance there if I started with 5,000 invested 250 each month over six and a half years that I have put here in the compounded calculator I get to the level I am now and the compounded return is 12 percent that was always the goal from the research platform to get to returns above 10 percent I made a lot of mistakes in the first six years as I was also a little bit searching research platform pressure there and therefore chasing too much risk make mistakes if not the performance would have been even better but 12% is 
over a six and a half year period, I think delivered on the promises and I'll try to do much better in the future. The question to answer all the comments here, yes, Sven, you didn't beat the market. Unfortunately, we didn't beat the market because if I calculate what the S&P 500 did in the same period, 2.1x, that's 12.5% per year from that same compounded calculator. And then also I have to add the dividend that was a little bit higher in the early years. Now it's lower, but I found this online investment grew to 230 for that period. So annualized 14.1, let's say 14.5%. And yes, we didn't beat the 14.5% of the S&P 500 again due to my mistakes but there is one key differentiating factor here that it is up to you to see what kind of returns do you wish to get because if we look at my portfolio now and SAP 500, the SAP 500 has a P ratio of 30 at the moment and if you look at 10 year rolling annualized returns of the SAP 500 Yes, there were this decade, 15 years of great returns, like in the 50s, in the 90s, and we are now again in that period of great returns, 2010 to 2025. But this usually leads to higher valuations, like we are now, and then we have a decade, 15 years of negative, actually also, very low returns for the S&P 500. That is because there is a huge difference in owning businesses, value investments at P ratios, free cash flows or average cycle returns of 10% and higher plus growth and at 30. I'll keep value investing and the businesses I own in the portfolios deliver 10% value per year, if not more. And that will be the driver of returns also in the next seven years. So whatever the S&P 500 does in the next seven years, we'll keep doing. If there is a little bit of smartness, we can do more than that by taking advantage of market opportunities. But that is the delivery. The return comes from the ownership of the businesses. The S&P 500 I hope it does again 15% and I do 13%. I'm happy with that long term. But it is unlikely, possible, but unlikely that the cycle just keeps on going. Nevertheless, we'll just keep value investing to reach our goals. Invest in businesses that offer returns above 10% through dividend, buybacks and growth. Value investing strategy, margin of safety, catalyst, unlocking value and have a counter market mindset, risk focus, even hedges and strategy. So now that the strategy is pretty much settled or a lot of research has been done and that also compounds over time, we have covered stocks, we wait for the right opportunities and low risk first. Keep in mind that you can make an informed decision by using the 21 day money back guarantee no questions asked, you just send me an email for questions or for refunds and in one click I do that or answer your questions if you need more knowledge. So feel free to make an informed decision, see if this is something that would add value to your financial life, this value investing process, which is the key of the research platform. Thanks for watching, check it in the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.